August WTI spikes to a six-week high today, largely on uh, the news of OPEC and Russia agreeing to extend production cuts six to nine months. This came out a little bit earlier than expected than the OPEC meeting everybody was waiting for, but it does solidify that OPEC and Russia seem to be serious about production cuts. Um, add on top of that, the G20 outcome over the weekend definitely sparked a risk on rally around the globe. The dollar lower, yields higher, stock markets higher. Uh, definitely it was a tailwind um, for oil. Um, but other news that came out was uh, OPEC's uh, June production uh, fell to its lowest level uh, in about five years. We're talking about now about 30 million barrels a day. And that, again, this solidifies the story of getting uh, oil back up around $60 a barrel, although it's fallen since then. Um, ISM data uh, came out a little bit, uh, came out at, at consensus, although it did slide. Um, purchasing pricing was down, and in the details, that is non-inflationary, and so it does have um, oil traders a little bit concerned. Now, going forward, um, until the FOMC minutes um, on June, July 10th and 11th, traders will be, com be competing with uh, news flow with regards to sagging demand um, offset by the uh, volatile geopolitics that we've witnessed over the past few months. Right now, um, August futures trade at <clears throat> a little bit under a $2 range, option implied volatility one to three months was down and actually skew was up. Also note that um, open interest uh, down about 5% between now and uh, this past April.